What's up everybody? Howdy. Today we want to talk about probably one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about us driving straight trucks. Right. You're thinking we're, we would make more in a tractor trailer. Won't, won't you make more money in a tractor trailer? Right. They see our small truck and that we get that so many times as y'all would make so much more money if you drove a tractor trailer or you can't be making any money only hauling one pallet. You can't haul that much freight. So you're not making that much money. Or there's a lot of people who, you know, they're in tractor trailer. They want to make the move to expediting, but they they're worried they're not going to make the money. Right. Just keep in mind, this is our situation. There's people out here in strike truck that could make more than us, may make less than us. Yeah. It's, it's, it all depends. There's lots and lots of factors, but... There are a lot of factors, yeah. Yeah. So we just recently finished doing all of our numbers to do our taxes for last year. And we're the type of people, we, we don't mind sharing information. Now, we don't talk in our videos about how much we're making per load and this and that because that's irrelevant. What we make on a load is not the same for everybody and every load is different. Yeah. We look at our year total or a month total so we have no problem sharing our year no i'm not going to share what with you what i made on one load because i know back when i was doing my research i would see somebody say oh i just made three dollars a mile and i assumed that all loads were going to pay upwards of three dollars a mile which, which is not the case which is not the case and that's why we really don't talk about what we're making on each load because it will just give the wrong impression of what can be made out here right you know um so but we'll share the year end and there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration when we do that is you're not going to get out here and make the same amount you may get out here and make more oh it, yeah it, every individual is going to be different you know and it's what you put into it mm -hmm. it really is yeah so after doing our numbers for taxes what we made last year in 2019 and keep in mind that was in a two axle straight truck hauling the majority of the time one or two pallets 500 a thousand pounds we grossed two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars for the year of 2019 and the amount of miles that was for was a hundred and forty five thousand miles now that's all miles driven all we miles. don't break it down by loaded miles we go by all miles which yeah. is deadhead if Whether we're going we, home yeah if we're deadheading miles, to the yeah. truck stop it what every single mile that was driven on our truck costs us money so we factor that into every everything so mm -hmm. 100 how many miles 145,000 145,000 total miles driven last year now there's going to be some people that say oh my gosh you could make so much more in a tractor trailer yes in a tractor trailer there are some people that gross more than that but you're going to have more expenses you know exactly. that there's like we always say there's so many more things to factor in mm -hmm. if we drive a tractor trailer we got that many more tires that uh, got a trailer to maintain um, maintenance is going to be higher more things that can break down all that stuff so Respectively speaking, in a straight truck, I mean, we make usually just as much as most people out there. And I think one of the comments we always get a lot, and at least I've seen this, is if you guys drove for Walmart, you could make so much more money. <laughs> no, no, we can't. Because they like to run around and say, I made $100,000 working for Walmart. But what they're not telling you is how much was deducted in taxes. What did they end up taking home? Right. Is it good money? Sure, it's good money. But they're running 6,000 miles, five, 6,000 miles a week, uh, running six days a week, you know, uh, just out the wazoo of running. And per mile for the work we do, we make more than Walmart, trust me. We make more than most tractor trailer drivers yeah, do. Yeah. That that's one thing that people don't understand is we are not paid by the amount of freight we haul. We are paid by the commodity, what the commodity is, if it's special we do a lot of specialized freight for one thing, which yeah. pays more. Yeah. It's, it does not go by the weight or the <coughs> size of the load. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, if we get a load that's 10 pallets, it may, it may pay more per mile, but it's usually not based on the weight or the amount. Right. It's based on the commodity and uh, the services and they're the services, wanting right, for that right, load. Right. Exclusive use, constant surveillance, whatever it is, that's what we're paying. Temperature controlled, uh, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. 
customers pay higher for those services. That's what they're paying for in expediting. Yeah. Now that you got your general freight stuff in expediting too, that still pays really decent. Mm -hmm. But that's that's how you make the most money in any job. It's all about what you bring to the table and what you can offer. And if you're skating by with hauling general freight, maybe start looking into what else other freight can you handle? What can you haul? You know, do you have your hazmat? Do you have your, your DOD? Do you have, are you hauling a reefer? Can you get into a reefer truck? What, what more can you do to make more money? And that's how you're going to make more money in expediting any, in any trucking. Any, any field. Of, yeah, yeah. Any aspect of trucking. Yeah. You go drive for prime. I, I think I heard somebody say they're only making like a dollar 30, a dollar 50. 40 a mile and they'll run your butt off they will run your that's butt off. running that's doing six thousand miles a week yeah but you're basically running your equipment into the <laughs> ground for that rate yeah. you know i mean yeah. be sure if you work your business right and you manage your business and you drive slow and get the best fuel mileage and do your own maintenance and cut corners and cost where you can you can make a living at that absolutely but we make just as much and run less you know that's our motto make more work less yeah that's what we strive to do we love being able to you know say we do a delivery in oregon and we want to take a week off we can do that yeah and yeah. it doesn't hurt us even doing that we made that much money last year we take a lot of time off you see us sitting we just sat six days in california what last week week before yeah that's fine we still make <laughs> money the, yeah the, the money it's and sure we only got one load that week but it was a good paying load it was a good paying load. you know it made our made a, it was an okay week for us and we're fine with that you know we didn't run a whole lot of miles. It's really hard to explain, you know, sometimes some people have their mindset that you got to run, run, run to make the money. And it's really not like that. You know, you, you want to go for the better paying loads mm -hmm. and work and, less. Yeah, exactly. And, and if that's what you want to do is run six days a week, run, by all means, go run for Walmart, go well, there's expediters out here that run six days a week. They like doing that. And believe me, we could probably make more than what we did if we ran more. But could, we like, like Jason said, getting one or two loads that pay really good in a week and relax the rest of the week. Or even just having bad weeks sometimes. You know, we, we, it's yeah. not going to kill us if we have a bad week. Mm -mm. Could we make more at Tractor Trailer doing what we do? Probably so. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We're going to have more headache, you know, we got to pull a trailer now, have less parking options. I was going to say the parking. I love that we're able to go stay at an RV park if we want. We're able to go stay a lot of places that a tractor trailer cannot stay. And sure, you can drop your trailer somewhere and go do that in a tractor. But then again, you're, you're having to find a place to drop your trailer. Is it safe there? Mm -hmm. Then go get the RV park where, you know, we're one unit, we're smaller. We make good money. Um, you can make good money too. Absolutely. You know, I know a lot of people are scared to move into expediting because they're worried they're not going to make the money. But if you put the hard work that you put into in tractor trailer, you can make money in expediting. Absolutely. You can. There are straight truck drivers that we know that drive for FedEx that are making three, grossing 300 plus a year. And they drive for a fleet owner. Driving for a fleet. Now that's to the truck. That's yeah. not what they take home. Right. But and you got to keep in mind, we're owner operators. So, of course, we're making more of a percentage than people driving for a fleet owner. But, but even with a fleet owner, they're making. But there's people that run for a fleet owner who take home at the end of the year more money than we take home as owner operators. Yeah, absolutely. And that's great for them. Kudos. You know, that's yes. not what we want to do. Uh, we're kind of happy where we're at, you know, we're happy with uh, what we do and we like the way it works and stuff and which brings up it's a... it's <laughs> <laughs> It's not all about making the most money possible and killing ourselves. That's what I was gonna say it all boils down to What we are happy with yeah, we, we are happy making what we make every year yeah, but what we make, you know, and, I, and we're not I'm not trying to brag and say oh gosh We made all this money right, that, right. that's not the point of this video 
if you've been watching our videos for a while, or even if you're new, we are very straight to the point on us, people. We will tell you like it is. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, and I'm not gonna be like, oh, we're making $500,000 a year. No, we're making gonna, this, this much. Yeah, this is what yeah. we make. That's not what everybody's gonna make, and some people are gonna make more. I'm not gonna jump on here and say I made $4 a mile, because <laughs> no. you, then people start thinking that's a, every Expedite Lowe's pays $4 a mile. That's not benefiting anybody. We're no. out here to help people and yeah. tell you like it is. That's yeah. that's just the way we do it. I'm sure there's gonna be some people that hear what we made last year and are gonna be like, there's no way they made that. I don't, you know, that's- Or think that's not enough. There. Yeah, and-, and You that, can and make that, so much more. It but, boils down to is what you are happy. We are beyond happy with what we're making. And we had a fun year last year. We had an amazing year. We have a, the yeah. longer we have been doing this now going into our eighth year, we have taken more and more time to enjoy the job. It is, it's so much, we enjoy it. We love it. People think, gosh, you stay out three months out of, I couldn't stay out that long. I want to go home more. Well, we love it. You know, we yeah. love being yeah. together. We love traveling the country. We're getting paid to see the country. Yeah. Why wouldn't, and look at this truck that we're driving. I can guarantee you that if I went to a tractor trailer driving, a company tractor trailer driver driving a regular sleeper truck and said, would you rather have this or this truck we're driving? What do you think they're gonna pick? Right. More people wanna have the comfortable sleeper and, and the amenities that we have. Absolutely. Now that's not everybody, but I mean, why would you not wanna be comfortable? And, and this is that lifestyle we we aimed for when we first started in this, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. is to be comfortable, make good money. Not we're not trying to make a million dollars a year. You know, we just want to make enough so we can put money back. We can save. We can live comfortable. We can have nice things and enjoy our enjoy, enjoy our job. Enjoy. We don't. <laughs> you, oh gosh. You, yeah. So many people run, 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 and sure, they make great money, but are they really enjoying what they do? No. Right. That's, yeah. Nobody's enjoying it as much as we, I bet. I know. We <laughs> you know? love it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And, but yeah, it's just, that's just one of the things that people, a big misconception is you can make so much more in tractor trailer. And it really comes down to, like I said, sure, there are some tractor trailers drivers that make more than us. There's some that make less. There's some straight truck drivers that make more that make less. It's, Could we make more? Could sure, we make less? I mean, yes. yeah, but it's, we're happy where we're at. We just wanted to share what we made. You know, we're excited to see this year what we're going to make in this truck. Now that we have the double axle, we have the split box, you know, we but have. But we have more expenses too. We do. So it's going to be interesting yes. to see how it works out but yeah I mean it, we definitely make money in, <laughs> the, in the straight truck the question, yes. it, so many people ask how, uh, do you make money at that and you're asking the wrong question I say it every time how do you make more money at that mm -hmm. you know and we've told you in multiple videos that we've done over the time we've been doing YouTube is get your qualifications uh, g get in a reefer truck or you know, get get a truck with an extra axle if you're not making more in the single axle or, you know, it's all about what can you haul, you know? Are you available to haul that load that that customer calls in on? Right. You know, um, I, we've seen many times before where we've been passed up on a load because maybe we didn't have a lift gate or we didn't have the extra axle and couldn't carry more. We've seen it before, you know oh, yeah. what I mean? And we've gotten loads before others because we did have a lift gate then and so it's all in what you're able to haul sometimes and you got to have patience and I mean don't, for those of you in tractor trailer worried if you're going to make the money in expediting if you get on with the, the good fleet owners and you know like Highfield and if you got good people sh teaching you and showing you how to make the good money you, you're going to make good money oh, I yeah. promise. Uh, it's, it, over the time we've been out here and even in the, the last few years we've seen a lot of tractor trailer drivers transition from tractor trailer oh, yeah. coming over to straight truck and they're loving it they're loving it's it it's like a 99 percent uh, approval rating yeah. you know they they love the move yes. you know it's yeah. less headache it's more enjoyable it's just it, all around it's better yeah and don't get me wrong over the last <coughs> last seven years we've been out here we've gone back and forth about oh should we go to tractor trailer yeah we toss the idea around oh, yeah we think about it sometimes but it all comes back to we love this the truck we're in we love the freedom, 
We are happy with the amount of money we're making. Yeah. So, yeah, what, it's a no-brainer for us. For us, <laughs> and maybe not for you. That's, that's yeah, everybody yeah. needs to go through that decision-making. And... Absolutely. So, to wrap it up, not necessarily would we make more money in a tractor-trailer. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, I want to share one more thing. To make the most money, it's all about doing the hard work. Kevin Rutherford says this at the end of it, every one of his shows. Now, that does not mean work hard. That means do the hard work. Put in your time. You know, it, you're not going to come out into expediting and make killer money right away most of the time. You have to put in the work. You have to research. You have to network. You have to learn. You have to... You know, uh, get your qualifications. You have to, all of that stuff. Put in the hard work. You have to track your numbers. You have to see where the money's coming in, how much is coming in, how much is going out, what, what's going out. Can you cut costs here? Can you cut costs there? That's what doing the hard work is. Not coming out here and busting your butt. That's just running your ragged. You yeah. know, that's not doing the hard work. So don't miss mistake the two, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people are hard workers, you oh, know. Yeah. But a majority of people are not doing the hard work. And those are usually the ones that are complaining that they're not making money, that it's, the yeah. Making it's... bad decisions, <laughs> making the wrong decisions, yeah. and um, blaming those bad decisions on others. Yeah. If you can't see where you could have changed your bad decision making, then you're just digging yourself deeper. <laughs> all right. You're That's all your, I got. You're off your soapbox. I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> all right. So thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.